Hi, welcome to my SPIN lectures. Uh, today I will be showing you how to swap data between two registers. So the first thing we want to focus on is loading our data into two registers. So what we're going to do is load immediate a value into the register T0 and we're going to give it a value of 100 and a value into T2 or T1 and we're going to give it a value of 200. Now one of the approaches we can take is very simple. What we can do is just manually assign the values and just swap it so we can just load immediate T0 with 0x100 I mean 200 and load immediate T1 with the value 0x100 and then we do a sys call and right before the sys call we're gonna load immediate v0 with 10 and by now you should know what v0 what adding 10 into v0 will do so what this will do is this will add a value into t0 and this will add, uh, this next line will add a value into t1 and then our sixth line will add a different value into t0 and in line 7 we can see that it'll add a um, it'll add 100 into t1 now this is doing it I call it brute force way but what if we didn't know the value of t0 or the value of t1 well then this method we wouldn't know what to put what what value to assign to t0 or to t1 so what we're gonna do is we're going to use the move function so what we can do is with the move function is we can move a value from one register to another register but the problem with this is if we just move t0 into t1 well we just lost our value of t0 meaning if we do move t1 into T0 or T0 into T1 that, that what that's going to do is just it's just going to duplicate the value of T0 and just put it into T1 so what would happen is first right here the value of T1 is going to go into T0 so the value 0x200 is going to go into T0 then remember the value of T0 is now 0x200 that value is just going to go into t12 so now we have t0 and t1 both being 0x200 so what we're going to do is we're going to make a temporary register and into that register we're going to move the value t t we're going to call it t2 and we're going to move t0 into t2 so now the value of t2, t, I mean t0, is inside t2. Then we're going to move the value of t1 into t0. Then what we want to do is we want to put the value of t0, the original t0, into t1, right? But t0 is already t1 from this line. But but what we did was we put the value of t0 and saved it into t2 so we can put t2 into t1 and this way the values have been swapped I can show you how that plays out so first I'm gonna run and assemble and here as you can see it this is t0 this is t1 and this is uh, sorry that's not T0, those are A's. Uh, this is T0, this is T1, and this is T2. So the first thing that happens is 100 is going to go into T0. The next thing that's going to happen is 200 is going to go into T1. Now this is where the swapping begins. First, we put the value of T0 into T2. Then we replace the value of T0 with we replace the value of t0 with t1 and then 
we replace the value of t1 with t2. And by that way, your method of swapping has com is complete. Now the good thing about this is, we don't need to know the value of t1 or the value of t2 for this process to work. So if you have this huge code where it gives you, you have a lot of information in t1 or in t0, and it's just not possible for you to manually or brute force your way out of this, you can just use the simple swap. And that is all for, from this lecture.